Alright guys, before we get into today's video, I do want to tell you guys two things. One, uh, they're doing a giveaway, TKM Performance. All you have to do is go over and like their Instagram. I'll link it here. Go follow them on Instagram. You'll automatically be entered to win a shirt and a hat. We'll be doing a drawing next time we go up to TKM, which will be sometime next week. So get it done before I head up there. Go follow TKM Performance on Instagram. Other than that, I do want to ask you guys to please vote for me for the Drag Illustrated 30 Under 30. Uh, the link is the first one in the description below. This is the information for it. That's my name and that's my age. Everyone thinks I'm like 35. I don't know why. I'm only 25. I don't think I look that old, but I don't. I'm trying to get a sponsorship with a Touch of Grey, if you can't tell. So, um, yeah, that's what we got going on. I hope you guys are excited for a fun video. And be on the lookout. The next two videos are going to be track videos. So, keep an eye out for those as well. Hope you guys enjoy. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited in today's video because we got a lot of stuff rolling in. So, dude, absolutely overload right now. Going crazy. We got the new crankshaft in from Texas Speed and what looks to be... Uh, these are my new push rods, Chris. I didn't tell you, the 12 foot push rods are in. We got a new Dragon Slayer crankshaft uh, with no reluctor, which we are going to look at here in just a little bit. And we got some other goodies from TSP. But first, uh, I'm gonna run it. I gotta put it somewhere. Stop it right there. All right, right there's good. All right, so look at this. This trailer's coming home all the way from Texas. So look, it's got a big Wilmington, North Carolina sticker on it. Does it really? Yeah, look at it, right there. It was meant to be. Everything was meant to be. Look at the tag, though. Colorado. It's in Colorado. Wow. These guys at U-Haul are drunk. They don't know no, what's going on. U-Haul is originally out of one. Well, uh, what we got going on here is uh, a shopping turbo bullet. You guys saw I was looking for some fiberglass, carbon fiber, stuff like that. And I found a full carbon fiber body for oh, wow. the Trans Am yeah, in Texas. But there's no way you could ship it. It's all carbon fiber. So... One of our boys, Zane, right there, he was driving back from Texas for military reasons. He was there, and now he's back. He was from North Carolina. Then he went back down to Texas, but now they asked him to come back here. And I was like, hey, when are you coming back next? And he's like, oh, next week. And yeah, so Wes actually set it up, but oh boy. I'm so excited. What if what if he pulls the cover off? It's all fiberglass. It's all, I don't know this. <laughs> it's going to be all fiberglass. You're going to throw the camera down with that new camera. I'm so excited. Uh, no, that's carbon. Oh, boy. Look at that front lip. Is it heavy, Jackson? It looks like you barely handle it. Oh, brother. So this is the one piece I was telling you about, like, had the... Yeah, just scratched up. But this is, like, the only one I saw shit on. Everything Dude. Else was primer. That looks pretty heavy. Are you straining? Are you straining right now? <laughs> <laughs> Where should we just set everything? We'll just leave it outside. It ain't like no one's gonna know what it's for. Oh, look at that carbon door. What you what you know about that, Chris? What do you know about the doors? My pockets are fatter than yours right part. now. This is my favorite part. God, yeah, I'm broke right now. I'm very broke. That is. Mm. Is it heavy? Sexy. It heavy. Yeah, it does look heavy. Oh boy. That door, like they carry around the Hemi door. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I, I take care of the Hemi door. Come in, I saw it on his face. <laughs> God, there's so much stuff in here. I've done nothing yet. I've just been holding the camera. It's like a parasail. So, oh, you're just like, yeah, just set it down right there. This guy bought this stuff, and so it's literally like ten thousand dollars worth of carbon fiber, and it takes six months to get made. And the guy that makes it isn't did not make any this year. Okay, so why does this guy have it? I'm so I get Zane. Was it a shop? He owned a shop. When they told me they had a customer, it was a customer's car that they were gonna build, and basically they had like an old body there. I seen it. And yeah, he tried to get me to t get that, and I was like, I don't want that thing. Yeah, the guy who was building it, uh, I guess, got health issues. And it's just like I can't build and it no more. Like, hey, I'm done with the project. I guess he couldn't really drive like he wanted to anymore. Yeah. So he's like, sell it for me. Damn. God, what if you got it back and it was a Camaro front end? I'd die. <laughs> I would die. I thought it was pretty cool. Got the front end. Oh, yeah. You, you got that, Jackson? Yeah, I mean, it's like 10,000 pounds. Ugh. Big boys. <laughs> Phil, what you know about this? What you, what you know about it? Huh? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Look how he's just carrying the front end around. Oh, God. This is the best day of my life. I love going broke. I was at the hood. Guess what? Guess what's going on bad apple? What? Carbon. Oh, monkey see monkey do, right? More, more carbon. 
Look at that, carbon fiber roof. No more T-tops, boy. What you know about that? I'm pretty sure you're gonna go so fast you blow that off. Don't, don't you ever, look at that. Mm. That just looks like fiberglass. Oh yeah, look at the bottom of it. Oh. That's what not fiberglass. So this one is the fender, uh, uh, fenders and some other stuff, the wing. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, See Ford. That? It's actually off of. Hey, you got better. Look at the next one. Mopar. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited right now. Yeah, I definitely got to open this up. Yeah, the wing. The wing. The wing. I was trying to figure out what the hell this piece was, but there's like two in there. That's. Part of the wing, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the winglets on the side. Yeah. That's what it is. Dude. Yes, this is what going broke looks like. Oh, God. The box is literally heavier than the what's inside of it. That's the hood. That, that was the fun part. Jackson, pull that out. When I pulled out the hood, I was like, I think the box is heavy. Ratchet Yoda. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, there's the, the deck lid. Here, you, you hold it and I'll pull. So this is like never seen sunlight? Oh boy, this is definitely Trans Am parts. I'm losing my mind right now. All right, I'm just going to leave it on. I'm going to leave it on there. I'm going to leave it on just because I'm, I'm like freaking out right now. If I see any of y'all looking, even looking at my, my car the wrong way now. <laughs> <laughs> oh like God! Pull a little plastic hammer and just knock a hole in this right here. It is nuts. I have so many questions on how, like, is this really everything? Like, because I feel like we took so much weight off the car that it won't work replacing it with just this. Still ain't as tall as yet. Open that up. Let's see what Texas Speed got us. God, all the deliveries came at once. Yeah, I know. Seriously, I can't believe I paid for shipping. Like, I was curious, like, how much it would cost to ship that. There's no way you could ship like, it. Like, everyone, like, I don't know, I was, like, on the forums and stuff, and everyone was, like, Greyhound that. I was, like, no, that's for, like, scrap metal rebuilds. This ain't scrap metal. Rebuilds. Dude, it would get destroyed. Oh, that is a big time. Jackson, you step on my hood, I swear. Wow, Texas Speed sent their largest banner. <laughs> oh, my God. Should we go on the side of the trailer tonight? I got the little one. Look, I got the little banner in here. You, you see it up there? Just the little tiny guy? <laughs> and Texas Speed's like, no. You're putting the big one up there. Shout out to Texas hey, Speed. Give me a pole. You'll just run around. I'll run around with it. Oh my God. This is, this is insane. March down mule days. Yellow this is insane. Days, <laughs> oh my God. Zane, thank you for taking care of all my stuff and getting it back here. I owe you. God. I'm so overwhelmed right now. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh yeah, you probably need that stuff to return, huh? I even asked him, I was like, he brought out the bag, and I was like, yeah, hey, we gonna keep these? He's like, no, you gotta return them. Like, oh, that's probably the 10 bucks. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say, these are- 10 bucks for all of them, that's a good deal. I was gonna use it for soundproofing in the those? car. Was that already on it? Yeah, those were on it. God, it's so light, I'm worried about it flying away. God, what do I do with all this? Yeah, I saw the doors, I just loved how like, so like hey, you can put it in the off? It Look it. They are, they know that you're going to cut this to, to put a hinge in there, so they have, okay. that's nice, that is nice. So what'd you say, basically a ranger, pearl black, something like that, or? Bass boat, Bass just like, black. as glittery, as glittery black as possible. I'm just like, it's got a badass lip on it too. Yeah, front diffuser. Yeah, Jason Brazel has some work to mount all this. Yeah, look, everything that's. He had it laid out when I came by the first time, and then we packed it up, and then picked it up. So. Well, it looks like everything. I did not realize that was a rear bumper. Yeah, that's, I didn't realize I was getting, yeah. I didn't realize I was getting a rear bumper until I looked at it last night, and I was like, well, I guess I could pull the bumper off. Like I said, I, I think it's cool how it has the pontiac. Yeah. He's got the. Old, Look, it's got the 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 Firebird in the front of it. I highly do it. Probably yeah. fiberglass and then pull it off the fiberglass, and lay the carbon fiber. That's crazy. It's like this car wants twin turbos, <laughs> but I'm gonna have to cut the damn Trans Am out now. Yeah, we know all about that. What do we know you about? You have to reinforce the heck out of that. 
You got a carbon fiber front end on the Mustang. And as it goes down track, it like bows out. I, ain't, I haven't seen that. Yeah, don't I'm look. Always on the inside. <laughs> that is crazy. Good, good buy, yes or no? $4,500 plus $1,000 to get yeah, it here. That's a good buy. Yeah. yeah. Chris is like, yeah. Yeah. I told Wes yesterday, I was like, yeah, spend money to make money. Pat, Pat's not going to be happy. No, my mom is pissed. I was like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I just I got to PayPal someone 4500 bucks. But yeah, no, I'm all about it. Yeah, Yolo Lexus, yeah, Ford, yeah, Mopar. No we got everything. Okay. That guy did, what did he do? Did he build like race cars or did he build like show cars? I'd say performance show cars, not really. Uh, They're like 1,000 hor no, thousand horsepower, like, like, doing, but, like, some like high horsepower street car yeah. stuff. Yeah, like big wheels and. He's got like a Trans Am, uh, like he's trying to build like this authentic Trans Am racer. Mm -hmm. Like GT, or GA series yeah. racer. Yeah. So clean. Uh, God. As you said, it was a massive shop too, wasn't it? Yeah, in the hood. In the hood, yeah. <laughs> East Dallas next to Cotton Bowl Stadium. That is hilarious. Well, we got it all. Now it's just time to put it on the car. Oh yeah, you didn't you didn't oh, see the car. I seen, strip I stripped the car down since this look thing it. has grown since the last time I seen you in this car in Wesley. Oh yeah. That's look at it. Here's where this is as far as we got. I just took everything off of it. So if anyone needs some doors, a deck lid. Oh God! This is carbon fiber too, right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You'd be surprised. Those doors—they weigh like a hundred pounds. But yeah, this is this is where we're at now. So it literally looks like a Pontiac Sunfire. Are you gonna put a? What are you doing for the windshield? Inside? I'm doing um, optic armor, so it's like Lexan. But uh, oh, it comes with a mullet. Got the mullet, and I took everything off the back. Are you gonna need the mullet once you're done? Oh yeah. It's, in. it's starting to come in now. It's it's like my hair's growing faster now. That I got on my carbon body. I'm getting closer. So yeah, this is what we've been doing to it. We've got all stripped down. Got it mini tubbed and frame, frame through four subframe connectors, and then it's got all tubular everything on it. So it's got yeah. badass rear end and all the shit. Yeah, I seen your post this morning. Like I woke up to literally, you're like, hey, these are for sale. Yeah, I'm trying to sell these because I want to go wider. These are 15 by 10s. I want to go 15 by 12s. Okay. So as, as time progresses, we just keep going more and more race car, and I keep spending more money, and it's still. You gonna just build the Evo? Normal people, I was like, I guess, but I was like, there's a side of me that wants to just rear wheel drive it. <laughs> do it, do it inline, 4G63, big turbo. Cause your your Evo, what's the setup on that? It was a 2.1 with this FP black, and then uh, built trans and stuff, and outlet clutch and trans is long. You were riding around like three or four years ago with like daily in that with a Kirky seat with no seat cover, weren't you? Uh -huh. God. <laughs> I was like, right before I left, I went full blown race car. Let's get the roll cage ready. And, oh my God. And they're like, hey, you're going to Texas now. I was like, shit. <laughs> well, I appreciate you getting that, getting that stuff here, hooked it up, because I was not about to make that drive. I couldn't do it. But riding with Wes, he'd sleep the whole time. Oh, yeah. It's like going solo. Just so. Beach with Wes. <laughs> Phil, you getting ready for the track? <laughs> Thank you.